Welcome to my unboxing of the Vmoda Crossfade M100s, uh, over ears headphones. Uh, these are actually Vmoda's um, flagship headphone, um, and it has tremendous praise on uh, supposedly D DJ websites, sites like CNET, and Gadgets. Phenomenal praise. And as you can see here, I got the matte black versions, and here you can see the soundstage is colossal, and that's what it says here. Let's take a look around the box here. So it has a dual dia uh, diaphragm, 15 millimeter um, diaphragm, dual diaphragm speakers, uh, V ports, and the carrying case, the speakeasy mic. It's apparently supposed to be made out of Kevlar. And on the back here, so it says there's isolation. It's supposed to be built to a military level quality. So we'll see about that here. Talks about how it can the cables can survive a million cable bends, uh, 70 plus six foot drops, um, which is much taller than me, <laughs> uh, uh, and um, 10 flat head bad bends, good sound, and the unit variance between like the actual each model is only two de decibels, which is nothing, um, which is very good for quality control. Uh, light weight at 280 grams and. 45 degree angle jack. So, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So, you can see here, leather, or faux leather, I don't know. And Vimoda has a little button here, and a little ribbon cutting ceremony. Okay, here we go. And this box is actually really quite small. I can almost, I can basically palm the entire box, and I have small hands. I have small Asian hands. <laughs> so here's the paperwork, stickers, and all that other stuff. Very excited. Okay, let's get to the actual tab here. So foam. All right. Nothing else in the box. Just a lot of foam. More paperwork, boom mic, memory cushions, and all that stuff. Throw that aside. And here are the bot. Here is the headphone case itself. Wow, this is small. I can pretty easily palm this. You can tell my hands are chubby. <laughs> and easily palm this. This is small. Carabiner. I wouldn't advise using this because if you clip this on your bag, it will get jacked. Just saying. Um, this is a small case. And uh, here we go. It says Vmoda on it. It's like very well built. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow, this is actually really nice. The inside is made out of some kind of velour. And holy smokes. Okay, so let's put the headphones aside from now. The headphones are neatly presented here. This aside from now. Actually, there's a strap here. So, there's a cable here. So this is an orange cable, straight angle here, speak easy mic, and then there we go, the actual button here. So v what Vmoda has done is actually separate the actual mic, with the, which this would be positioned near your mouth, and put this, the actual module near where your hands would be so you wouldn't have to reach as far up. And supposedly this helps with uh, getting rid of the the cable noise because the old mic used to be down here so it's pretty nice wow I love the motor cables they're so durable and 45 degree angle very nice okay and the second strap here so you can basically like go around with both straps so I mean both like cables so if one cable just dies out on you you can always grab a second one and this one very long. You can see I'm not going to bother unraveling it. Actually, I could. Why not? Here we go. So this is actually not the, made out of Kevlar too, but this most like this is kind of like that that ropey material that you see on a lot of other I don't know, skis and stuff. So you can this 45 degrees. It's a little chunkier. It has a splitter here, so you can plug in on another set of headphones here. So you can kind of share your audio device so when you pu plug this into your like iPhone and stuff someone else can like listen to it along uh, along with you and this is a very long cable this is like way longer than like three and a half feet 
And V motor cables usually, even the orange one, is usually a lo little longer than the traditional, like the Beats cables and everything like that. So uh, this is even longer. So this is good if you're if you're like really far from the, from your um, your audio source or your where you're plugging everything in. So put the case aside. This is really steady, sturdy. But the main, the star of the show here. Wow, this is so nice and so compact. Like, see it? It's ridiculous. It? Wow, it has that really nice kip click. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna peel this off in a second, but just to see, this is matte black. Oh, cool. Stuff fell off. Okay, so these are actually the V corks, so you can tell here the V modas here have a dual entry jack here. So you can plug it in here. So what you can do is like let's say I'm listening to headphones myself and I'm plugging them here and I'm listening to off my iPod. On uh, my iPhone. Um and I'm listening to it and then like let's say I want to plug in my buddy's uh headphones themselves and they can plug it in on the other side. So what are we doing? We're sharing our audio source. Great. But what I realize here is that let's say if you grab the other cable, which I just had, and I don't know where I just put it. Just had it. I literally just, oh, okay. Here we go. Yes, if we plug this in here, here, we can plug in someone else's headphones here. And we plug in a third person's headphones right here, so plug it in like this, and then ready to go. Another set of like you can three people can share one source, but as you split the audio, the the quality degrades and it it goes into like all these other like you have to talk about the impedance of other headphones, the sensitivity, so it gets into a, like a lot of like really messy. So traditionally, uh, I wouldn't use the dual entry cable too often anyway. I mean the two the daisy chaining thing. Uh, and this cork is basically just to put it in each whichever one that you're not using and just kind of save um, just so it doesn't get too dusty in there so your cups are soft here very nice it's very nice this is things made out of metal here this is a little plastic hinge here but this is very nice wow this is very nice I don't know if you can hear that so you can see the base ports here uh, it will let in some noise, let out some noise, but this is supposed to help with the sound stage. You can change, uh, exchange the shields out, and you can technically drop this from like six foot and like that, and it won't break. And if it does break, you can Vmoda has like an insane warranty. So like uh, they have two warranties, two year warranty on this guy, and um, an immortal life warranty. So in any time in this headphones lifetime or your lifetime, it breaks, you can always buy a new replacement from Vmoda for 50% off. So. This is insane, and wow, okay. And you can adjust the headbands to like, you can like flex it out if it's too tight for you or whatever. And you can do the one DJ listening thing here. Extend it, wow, it has a nice positive click. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, what, and if I and there are the XL pads available, so if these ear pads don't fit you, which I heard a lot of people are complaining about, you can always get the XL pads to kind of give it a try there. And wow, these matte black actually looks really nice. I originally wanted the like white pearls, but wow, this is amazing. Okay, so that's been, sorry the video cut out there, but that's been my unboxing of the Vmoda Crossfade M100s. Um, if you have any questions for me, drop a line at the leave me a comment down below uh, like this video if you um, if it helped you but I'm really excited about this this headphone because this has been so hyped and I'm way too excited and if you're a bass head supposedly these are one of the best bass heads or if not one of the best bass heads, bass heads headphone you can get portably so these are not like humongous so I'm gonna give them a listen and I'll let you know my impressions in the next video thanks